Hi, 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 everyone. This is Topo Williams Adeomi, and you're listening to episode 10 of Business Nuggets by Matwain, a series of short tips and tricks that will help you start or grow your business and guide you on your entrepreneurship journey. For those listening to this podcast for the very first time, here's a quick introduction of myself. Once again, my name is Topo Williams Adeomi, founder of Matwain, where we teach you how to turn your passion to profit. I'm an entrepreneur, a fashion professional, a trainer, an author, and a business consultant. In today's episode, I'll be talking to those out there who are unsure of themselves. But before I begin, please tag someone who needs to hear this. And if you have comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to respond to them. And don't forget to follow us and hit the notification bell on our Instagram bio to know when the next episode drops. So yes, today's topic, you know a lot more than you think, or better put, you know a lot more than you give yourself credit for. I've been training for years and I've spoken to so many entrepreneurs who feel so unsure of themselves. Can I do this? Do I know enough? What if something goes wrong? Or worse, those that feel they have to keep studying and learning before they launch. I'm not ready, they say. I want to know everything they say. Well, newsflash, you can't know everything. Things keep changing every day. Newsflash number two, you cannot get it perfectly from day one. You improve yourself as the days go by and as you get more experience. Newsflash number three, you are just wasting your time jumping from one course to the other. What is the point of constant learning if you never even have time to implement what you have learned and test your theories? Let me give you an example. In our fashion school, one thing we firmly believe in is students testing what they have learned on a real market before they leave our institution. This is so that they can build their confidence and ask us questions when they hit roadblocks. And this begins from day one. From the very first skirt you learn, you're expected to go out there and take orders for them after completing your projects and assignments from that first task. And guess what? It works. I remember a student who made 30 of the very first skirts she learned and charged for it. Just this week, I posted an image on Instagram of another student who wore the skirt she made in her test to church and immediately got five orders for it. The point is, if you don't give yourself the chance to actually test your principles, how exactly will you know how good or how bad you are? Practice makes perfect. Practice breeds perfection. Constant practice breeds specialization. Constant learning without implementation is useless. Yes, I get you are scared to make mistakes, but guess what? You will make these mistakes whether you like it or not. So the sooner you get into it, the better for you. Like I said in episode one, what is the worst that could happen? Always ask yourself that. I took a Facebook ads course last year. I knew I wasn't perfect. Actually, as I speak, I know I'm far from perfect. But from what I learned, I was able to create a Facebook ad for the ebook, How to Start a Clothing Factory, and it has been great so far. I have gone on to create one or two more campaigns that were not so successful, so I have gone back to study more modules in the course. And that is the way it works. Now, I'm not asking you to bite more than you can chew. I'm not saying you should take an order for Z when you have just learned up to point F. What I'm saying is I don't expect you to take an order for corsets if all you have learned is skirts. And don't take an order for fondant cake if all you have learned is butter icing. You just might become the star of the next what I ordered versus what I got. What I am saying is if all you have learned is from A to F, use the knowledge from A to F, implement it in the real world and learn from it. And no, I am also not saying abandon G to Z. What I am saying is keep learning till you get to Z, but also give yourself time to practice what you have learned. If you really think you don't know enough, you will just be shocked. I remember a student of mine who went somewhere for her internship and found out that she was actually the one teaching the people that she felt had more experience than she did. When she was at Matuin, she was so unsure of herself and she kept doubting herself until she went out into the real world and realized that she knew a lot more than she thought she did. And that gave her the confidence to believe in her skills and her knowledge. So implement the strategies you have learned so far. So when you get lost and if you're still in a learning environment, you can ask for guidance from your teachers. And if you don't have teachers and you are out of the learning environment, then seek more knowledge from those who have been in the field more from a work experience perspective than just learning and learning and you keep learning and you keep learning. Like I said, it is just a waste of your time. So dear business owner, trust yourself a little bit more. You really know a lot more than you think you do. 
Don't kill that drive with constant negative thoughts and words. Yes, you will be scared, but overcome that fear with positive affirmations and tell yourself you are the best thing since sliced bread. And finally, rid yourself of that imposter syndrome. I know it is easier said than done, but try. If you don't build that confidence yourself, who will build it for you? No one ever became perfect from day one. Allow yourself to trust the process, believe in yourself and challenge yourself. Always remember, you know more than you think you know and you know more than you give yourself credit for if only you'd allow yourself. Awesome! If this helped you, tag others who need to hear this as well. Don't forget to leave your comment in the section below and follow us. Hit the notification bell so you will know when we drop the next episode. Until next time, my name is Topo Williams Adeomi and you have just listened to episode 10 of Business Nuggets by Matwin. Have an excellent, excellent, excellent day ahead. Cheers.